It's not about political party. It's not about race. It's not about who has money and who doesn't. It's about helping people, empowering people to make a change. We did a lot of research when we first started our Strengthening Neighborhoods program, and we found that the only way to strengthen a neighborhood is to do it through the residents of that neighborhood. It can never successfully be imposed from the outside. Our school didn't have any more funding for after-school programs, and they were going to lose everything. Marcos and Susan and me and my sister, we got the grant for the school for last year. It's a real, uh, real thrill. They begin to realize, I, my, I do count. I can, make a, I can make a difference. And then we went to the national training and my, my eyes really were open when I started to see people from all over the country with the same problems. And it was like a, th a, a thread connecting us all. I was shocked that this is just not here in Roanoke. This is all over the United States. I came back gun ho and ready to go. The leadership for tomorrow you know, people who understand how to work cross-culturally and who have to go through the, the crucible of all these people occupying the same community, not necessarily understanding each other or even liking each other, but they're there. The leadership for tomorrow is going to have to understand how to work within that context. That means they're coming out of my neighborhood. One of the things that really struck us going to Washington was this huge disconnect between what they're working on and what the community is concerned about or talking about. This PICO thing gives people an avenue to be able to fight City Hall, to be able to come up to, to Washington and say, you haven't heard my pain. And that's why this country was formed, for, for the people who are living it to be involved in creating it. If we sit back and just wait, we won't accomplish anything. We have to come up here and take some of that power, take things that are rightfully ours back. This was a faith-based organizing where I could exercise my faith and get something done. We're preaching the message that there is hope, and we're preaching the message that you can do something about it. I appreciate the fact that this work is about helping people do things for themselves. Then they start looking at you with respect. Oh no, those are those praying people. They want facts, <laughs> you know. And, and if you say you're going to do something, they're going to call you out on it. They're going to bring you in a room with hundreds of people and let you tell it to them. So if you tell them you're going to do something, you better be willing and ready to do it. It's brought me more in, in, in a line with, hey, you know, you're not alone here, buddy. <laughs> it's a bigger picture. I'm not going away. You may think I'm little, but I'm not. I'm big, and I'm coming back, and I'll bring more people back with me.